Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, stands out for its intricate narrative, which spans multiple time periods and locations. The story is centered around the Tome of Eternal Dark, a mysterious book, book that chronicles the experiences of individuals who have encountered the ancients, powerful and malevolent entities seeking to dominate the world. This narrative device allows the game to explore different characters, each with their unique story and perspective, providing a rich tapestry of experiences that converge towards a common thematic core. Central to the narrative is the theme of sanity and madness. The game uses the experiences of its characters to explore how encounters with the supernatural and incomprehensible can erode the human mind. This is most vividly represented through the sanity effects, which are not just gameplay mechanics, but also narrative elements that symbolize the character's gradual descent into madness. The degradation of sanity is portrayed not as a failure, but as an inevitable response to the Lovecraftian horrors that characters face, highlighting the fragility of the human psyche. The game draws heavily from historical and mythological sources, blending real-world events and figures with fictional lore. This integration enriches the narrative, providing a sense of authenticity and depth. The portrayal of different time periods, from ancient Persia to the Gothic Middle Ages and World War I, allows the game to explore a wide range of cultural and historical contexts. This not only serves to diversify the gameplay experience, but also underscores the timeless and universal nature of the horror themes the game addresses. The gameplay of Eternal Darkness is notable for its combination of traditional survival horror elements with unique innovations that set it apart from its contemporaries. While combat in Eternal Darkness follows a conventional format, using weapons and magic to fight enemies, it is distinguished by its focus on the strategic use of spells and weapon types. The game introduces a magical system based on three primary colors, each representing different alignments, Ulioth, Chatterga, Zelatath, and a neutral color, Mantorok. This system requires players to think tactically about the enemies they face, as different spells and weapon enchantments can be more effective depending on the alignment of the enemies. Exploration is equally significant, with the game's design encouraging players to uncover the history and secrets of each location. Puzzles often require the use of specific spells or knowledge of the game's lore, creating a cohesive experience that ties gameplay to the narrative. The Sanity Effects system is perhaps the most innovative aspect of, of Eternal Darkness. It fundamentally changes how players interact with the game, introducing a meta level of horror that extends beyond the game's characters to affect the players themselves. These effects range from simple visual distortions and unsettling auditory cues to more elaborate tricks, such as the game simulating volume control changes or pretending to crash. This blurring of in-game and real-world experiences deepens the immersion, making the horror feel more immediate and personal. Eternal Darkness has had a lasting impact on both the horror genre and the gaming industry as a whole. Its approach to psychological horror, characterized by a focus on mental and emotional distress rather than just physical danger, has influenced numerous subsequent titles. The game's success in using psychological elements to enhance horror has inspired other developers to explore similar mechanics. Games like Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Outlast, and Layers of Fear have built upon the foundation laid by Eternal Darkness, using sanity mechanics and environmental storytelling to create a sense of unease and tension. These games have pushed the boundaries of what horror can achieve, moving beyond mere survival to explore the deeper psychological effects of fear and uncertainty. The enduring legacy of Eternal Darkness is also reflected in its dedicated fan community. Despite the game's relatively modest commercial success, it has maintained a cult following that continues to celebrate its innovative approach to horror. This community has been active in advocating for a sequel or remake, demonstrating the game's lasting appeal and the impact it has had on its audience. Fan activities, including artwork, fan fiction, and modding, have kept the game alive in the cultural consciousness, ensuring that its influence persists even years after its initial release. The community's engagement speaks to the depth and quality of the game's narrative and mechanics, which have left a lasting impression on those who experienced it. 
The discussion around potential remakes or sequels to Eternal Darkness highlights the challenges and opportunities in revisiting classic games. The failed attempts to develop Shadow of the Eternals indicate both the interest in and the difficulty of bringing such projects to fruition. Factors such as funding, rights issues, and the changing landscape of the gaming industry play significant roles in determining whether such projects can succeed. A remake or spiritual successor would need to balance the preservation of the original's unique qualities with the integration of modern gaming advancements. This could include updated graphics, improved mechanics, and perhaps even new content that expands upon the original narrative and gameplay. However, any such project would also need to respect the core elements that made Eternal Darkness a cult classic, ensuring that it remains faithful to its roots while appealing to a contemporary audience. Eternal Darkness exemplifies how video games can serve as a medium for exploring complex psychological and philosophical themes. Its approach to horror goes beyond superficial scares, offering a deeper, more reflective experience that engages players intellectually and emotionally. This has implications for the broader gaming industry, demonstrating the potential for games to be not just entertainment, but also art that provokes thought and discussion. The game's success in this regard challenges developers to consider how they can use game mechanics and narrative to create more meaningful and impactful experiences. As the industry continues to evolve, there is growing recognition of the value of innovative design and storytelling in creating games that resonate with players on a deeper level. Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem employs a complex narrative structure that weaves together multiple storylines across different eras. This approach not only enriches the game's lore, but also enhances the player's engagement by providing varied perspectives on the central conflict involving the Ancients. The game features 12 playable characters, each with their unique story arc and gameplay experience. This use of multiple protagonists allows for a diverse exploration of the game's themes, as each character's storyline is influenced by their time period, personal background, and psychological state. This narrative choice also emphasizes the timeless nature of the struggle against the ancients, suggesting that the battle between sanity and madness transcends generations. The diversity of characters also offers players a broader emotional palette, allowing them to connect with the game's narrative on multiple levels. For instance, the story of Maximilian Roivas, who is driven to madness and institutionalized for his warnings about the ancients, contrasts sharply with the bravery and resilience of Alex Roivas, who serves as the game's main protagonist. This contrast highlights the different ways in which individuals can respond to overwhelming horror. The narrative is further enriched by the use of interconnected stories and artifacts. As players progress, they uncover relics and documents that reveal more about the history and motivations of the ancients and their human adversaries. These artifacts serve as narrative bridges between different eras and characters, creating a cohesive and immersive world. The game's storytelling also incorporates subtle foreshadowing and thematic echoes, such as recurring symbols and phrases, which enhance the player's sense of discovery and engagement. This intricate narrative design not only deepens the player's immersion, but also rewards attentive and thoughtful play. The horror in Eternal Darkness is deeply rooted in psychological principles, particularly the exploration of fear, paranoia, and the loss of control. The game taps into primal fears, not just through its supernatural elements, but also by challenging the player's sense of reality. The sanity effects system is designed to evoke feelings of paranoia and unease. By distorting the game's reality, the developers force players to question what they see and hear, mirroring the character's own experiences of encountering the incomprehensible. This technique is effective because it exploits a fundamental aspect of human psychology, the discomfort that arises when our perceptions and reality do not align. For example, Effects such as the game's camera tilting at odd angles or characters shrinking are subtle enough to be unsettling without immediately breaking immersion. These moments of dissonance create a lingering sense of unease as players are never sure when or how the game will next challenge their perception. Another significant psychological aspect is the theme of losing control, 
both mentally and physically. The game simulates this by occasionally overriding player inputs, displaying fake error messages, or simulating volume changes. These disruptions break the fourth wall, making the player an active participant in the horror and reinforcing the game's themes of madness and helplessness. This manipulation of player control is particularly effective in a medium where agency is a core component of the experience. By temporarily stripping away control, the game heightens the player's vulnerability, deepening the immersion and the psychological impact of the horror. Eternal Darkness can be compared to other media, particularly literature and film, that explore similar themes of sanity, reality, and the supernatural. The game is heavily influenced by the works of H.P. Lovecraft, particularly in its depiction of ancient, godlike beings and the psychological effects of encountering them. Lovecraft's stories often focus on the insignificance of humanity in the face of incomprehensible cosmic forces, a theme that is central to eternal darkness. The game's narrative structure, which involves uncovering ancient texts and artifacts that reveal hidden knowledge, also mirrors the investigative nature of many Lovecraftian protagonists. Cinematically, Eternal Darkness shares similarities with psychological horror films that focus on unreliable perceptions and the blurring of reality and illusion. Films like Jacob's Ladder and The Shining explore similar themes of mental deterioration and the haunting nature of the past, using visual and auditory cues to disorient the viewer. Eternal Darkness utilizes these techniques interactively making the experience more personal and immediate for the player. Developing Eternal Darkness presented several technical challenges, particularly in implementing the sanity effects. These effects required careful balancing to ensure they were unsettling without being overly disruptive or frustrating for players. The game was developed for the Nintendo GameCube, a system with limited hardware capabilities compared to modern consoles. Despite these limitations, the developers at Silicon Knights achieved a visually impressive game, using creative techniques to enhance the graphical fidelity and atmosphere. The use of dynamic lighting and shadows, as well as detailed textures, helped create immersive environments that belied the hardware's limitations. The sound design was another area where the developers pushed the boundaries. The game's audio effects, such as the whispering voices and environmental sounds, were designed to be experienced through stereo sound, enhancing the illusion of auditory hallucinations. This was particularly effective in creating a 3D soundscape that made players feel surrounded by the game's unsettling atmosphere. The continued relevance of Eternal Darkness is a testament to its innovative design and lasting impact on the horror genre. As games increasingly explore more sophisticated narratives and psychological themes, the influence of Eternal Darkness remains evident. The game has also been the subject of academic analysis, particularly in the fields of game studies and psychology. Scholars have examined its use of narrative and gameplay to explore complex themes, as well as its impact on player psychology. This scholarly attention highlights the game's significance, not only as entertainment, but also as a cultural artifact worthy of study. The game's enduring legacy suggests potential for new projects that could further explore its themes or mechanics. This could include remakes, sequels, or even entirely new games inspired by its innovative approach. As the gaming industry continues to evolve, the principles and ideas demonstrated by Eternal Darkness are likely to inspire future developments in the genre. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, remains a landmark title in the survival horror genre, celebrated for its groundbreaking approach to psychological horror and innovative gameplay mechanics. Its exploration of themes such as sanity, reality, and the human condition has resonated with players and critics alike, cementing its status as a cult classic. The game's influence is evident in the many titles that have adopted similar mechanics and thematic explorations. As a touchstone for excellence in game design, Eternal Darkness continues to inspire both developers and players, demonstrating the enduring appeal of games that challenge our perceptions and engage us on a deep psychological level. Through its unique blend of narrative depth, psychological insight, and innovative design, Eternal Darkness offers a powerful reminder of the potential of video games as a medium for storytelling and artistic expression. Its legacy endures, 
and its impact will likely continue to be felt as the gaming industry explores new frontiers in interactive horror and narrative experiences.